Hello everyone. This is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see how the person that is on your mind when it comes to love truly feels about you currently. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of this person's true feelings toward you currently, we have damaged, and we also have the star card here, all right? So when it comes to this person, they feel as though they've done too much damage to you. I feel like um, at this point, they're thinking that the damage that was done cannot be repaired. They do want to heal the connection with you, but I feel as though this person hurt you very deeply because there's a sore in this heart here. And it even reads on the card, never again, going across the heart. So I feel as though you guys um, are protecting your heart from this person, okay? But yeah, they feel like they've done too much damage. Whatever they did to hurt you, they feel as though they may have gone too far this time, all right? But yeah, I feel like you guys are healing. Some of you have already healed. Others of you are in the process of healing, okay? But yeah, I feel like this person, they don't know if they'll be able to, to recover the bond between the two of you, all right? At the bottom of the deck, we do have connection like no other. So when it comes to you, I feel like this person, they they see you as someone that cannot be replaced, okay? They've never met anyone like you. They've never experienced a connection like this with anyone else. So yeah, when it comes to this person, I do feel as though you guys are holding back or at least protecting yourself from them. I feel as though um, when it comes to this person, because of everything that they put you through, you do not feel as though it's safe to love them, okay? I feel like a lot of you are aware that this person may be holding things back from you. I feel like this person keeps a lot of secrets, okay? They keep things hidden. They keep things close to their chest. And a lot of you are just focused on your stability and being grounded, some of you may have even turned your back on this person because you may have realized that the two of you were kind of like going in different directions. You may have wanted one thing and this person may have wanted another. I feel as though you're thinking very logically about this person and you're realizing that you're wanting more than what they have to offer, okay? This may be also this may also be someone that is very um dominant or they come off as wanting things their way. They're also the type of person that may have not always been dependable. I feel like whenever you needed this person, they weren't there for you like you were there for them, okay? They are spying on you because they do see you holding back. They see that you are guarded. I feel like this person has been spying on you for quite a while now, and it's mainly because they see a very drastic change in you. They feel as though you are completing a cycle with them or that you are um, closing, closing out a cycle. But they want to say some things to you to try to bring about change, okay? To make things go in their favor. They may even say things to try and make you think that they changed, okay? I feel as though you guys are just done waiting, yeah, see, when it comes to this person, they're going to say whatever they feel as though you want to hear, okay? Because the Three of Wands is about waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for the good things to come in to you, waiting for your wish fulfillment, okay? And so I feel as though this person, they're going to say all of the right things to make you feel as though... You know, they are what you're looking for or that they're going to do right by you. Something of that nature. Some of you may have been waiting for this person to express feelings. They may have been closed off at one point in time. So they may come in um, communicating to you, letting you know how they feel. Okay, but I feel as though um, this person, they just want to keep you stuck because they see that you are turning your back on them. Some of you already have. I feel as though waiting on this person to do right by you, it, it's really, it's it has put you in your head, okay? 
I feel like this person, they just want you to be blindfolded to the truth. They want you to just believe everything that they say when in reality, you know something isn't right about the situation. This is someone that definitely wants to tie you down, okay? They don't want anyone else coming in toward you, okay? They want you all for themselves, but at the same time, they want you to be blind to what's really going on. Hmm. This person also, um, when it comes to you, they see you as someone very stable, very grounded. They feel as though the two of you could have a very long-term committed relationship together. I feel as though this person also, um, they feel like they want to hold on to you. Because they feel as though in the end, when they're done being in this king of wands energy and i really feel like it's the negative aspects of the king of wands they want you to still be there that's why this person just gives you a little bit here and there it's all to to keep you waiting that's what it's all about it's all to keep you stuck because right now they may want to play around but in the end okay with this 10 here in the end they want you to be the one that they settle down with which is very selfish, okay? This person, um, they feel like the things that they put you through in the past has have turned you cold toward them, like it turned you cold-hearted. That may or may not be true. That's just how they feel. They also feel as though you haven't um, completely gotten over the past or that you hold what they've done in the past against them, which I don't blame you, okay? I feel like this person hasn't learned their lessons. And it's not that you're necessarily holding a grudge. I just feel as though you know better now with this um, Queen of Wands and Queen of Swords energy. You just know better. And when you know better, you do better, right? I feel like this person put you through a lot of heartbreak, a lot of um, sorrow. For some of you, you may have even cried over the things that this person did to you. Okay, I feel like when you needed them, they weren't there. Okay, they didn't, they didn't even give you a shoulder to cry on. But this person, they may come back in with an offer. Okay, they're going to try to tell you that they want something stable with you. But I feel like it's all talk. Okay, this is someone that also sees, they see good things coming in for you. Some of you... You have a lot of long-term success coming in and it's good karma. It's what's owed to you, okay? So you're going to notice that in the future, I, and I feel as though it's going to be in the near future, for some of you within the next 10 months to a year, you're going to notice that your life, your finances just really, like they really take off and elevate, okay? I see some of you getting promotions. Some of you may be getting a new home or a new vehicle. It's going to be something materialistic. You're going to have a lot of material wealth. I feel as though it's your destiny to be wealthy. Okay. I feel like it's destined. So that's another reason why it's important for you to close out this cycle with this person because there is um, a lot of things awaiting you. And this person, they're just a blockage. Okay, they also feel as though you would be able to change their life. So whether you're successful right now or not, this person, they see it in you. They see it. They know that you're going to um, to, to live a very nice, comfortable life. And they want to be a part of that. I almost feel like this person's trying to ride, ride your wave. Okay. Yeah, they're definitely coming in, communicating that they want to be with you, okay? For some of you, they may even apologize to you, okay? But my problem with this is with this Page of Cups energy, this is someone that may be a daydreamer. I feel like they're more in love with the thought of being in love than actually, you know, doing the work that uh, being in love with someone takes, they see you as someone that they, they want to marry, okay? Also, for when it comes to the good things coming in for you guys, make sure that you move in silence. Use your intuition, not just with this person, but with anyone. Use your intuition when it comes to letting people know the good things coming toward you, okay? This card is urging you to move in silence. 
Hmm. But yeah, when it comes to them, they also want to keep you, um, keep you from making a final judgment call when it comes to them. Now, some of you already have, but for others of you, you may be stuck in your head a little bit. Remember, we're in the, I think we're in the pre-shadow of Mer Mercury retrograde. So don't be surprised if all of a sudden you start having these thoughts of this person and things such as that. But spirit wants you to know, just learn the lessons. Just be aware of the lessons, okay? Some of you have already learned the lessons, so apply them. You know, a lot of you know that this person is just trying to keep you stuck. Your gifts are also elevating, okay? You're very gifted. This is something that um, God blessed you with. No one can take it from you. So, yeah, they're going to come in with an offer, but Spirit wants you to be careful about what decision you make because you could end up being dissatisfied. I feel like this person is just going to come in and offer you the minimum, but you're better off by yourself. Being independent or single from this person, it's going to bring in a lot of long-term success for you. You guys make sure that you stay focused on um, whatever you're trying to accomplish. Go after your dreams. Work hard, okay? Because there's going to be a lot of good things and a lot of good news that comes in for you out of nowhere, okay? You're going to have a lot of new opportunities coming in. Also, um, be aware of people that are jealous of your success. Okay. Also, if this person knows where you live, um, this is very specific. Take it if it fits, leave it if it doesn't. Watch your vehicle. Okay. Because I feel like this is someone that would even do like try to do something to your car. For others of you, this is someone that just wants to prevent you from moving forward. So there's going to be communication coming in out of nowhere from this person. Okay. They're just heartbroken that you're moving on. They thought that you would always be there to love them. But see, a lot of you have become detached and very cold because you are aware that if you were to invest with this person, it would just be an on and off again thing. And it, was, it wouldn't be a wise decision for you to make in regards to having a relationship with this person. Okay. Also, um, you may get news regarding a betrayal. You may find out about another lover. Okay. For some of you, there's another lover that's wanting to reach out to you. Someone else that this person has been dealing with. I also do see some of you communicating to this person that it's over and done, like you're tired. Okay, but just be aware, this person, they're studying you very closely. And it's mainly because they're trying to see what you're wanting so that they can, so that they can, um more for you know what's the word so that they can um shape shift into whatever it is that you are looking for in a in a partner so just be very aware of that okay this person they're not gonna give up on a new start with you um i do see that but see some of you have a divine masculine or a divine feminine that's coming into your life and you could end up marrying this person it may be someone with strong aries or libra possibly even taurus in their chart okay this is someone you're going to have a very close bond with all right this person could also have water in their chart okay but i see you dating that person and when they when when I see you dating in the future a new person and the two of you are going to fall in love with each other. But when this person that's on your mind, when they discover that you've moved on, that you're happy, that you've met someone that is serious about you, someone that wants to um, build on a bond, someone that wants to build a life with you. And the two of you are going to be very successful together as well. This is going to devastate that person. It's going to devastate them. They're going to be like their um, emotions, their feelings. This is going to rock their world when they find out that you've moved on. So continue moving forward. Okay. And like I said, move in silence. Anything good coming in for you. And that's just, that's not just for th this person, anyone, because some of you have some hidden enemies. Okay. So just be aware of that. But yeah, they're definitely um, watching you very closely to try and see um, what it is that you want 
Like if you have social media, they're definitely finding a way to spy on you. And they may even be looking at your post to see, okay, let me see what he or she is posting so that I'll know what to pretend to be. Pitiful. All right. So let's see what else comes out. Give me more Holy Spirit in regards to this person's true feelings toward my viewers currently for every person watching this reading Holy Spirit what is um, the person that is on their mind when it comes to love what is that person's true feelings toward my viewers currently two more shuffles but yeah, they feel like the damage is done here. Like it just can't be recovered. Like they whatever something that they did, it cut too deep. It cut it was like for some of you, and this could be future energy for some. It's like this person, they may have hurt you a few times. And I feel like you tried to, you know, you may have tried to make things work. But there's something that just put the the nail in the coffin here there's something that they did that just went too deep like they went too far because even the sore is going past the heart they went too far and now they're worried about if they'll be able to recover after this damage is done or has been done oh my goodness all right so let's see what else comes out all right so we have aggressive so this person may be a little pissed off because they want you to, you know, heal from the past or they want to heal past wounds with you. But see, I feel like this person, like I said, they want to keep you stuck. Okay. Because there's a lot of things, looks like vines or something that's covering this person's face. All right. So, um, or covering their body. It's like this person, they just want to, um, like cause blockages for you but you guys have a spirit guide or an ancestor that is really um trying to lead you they're trying to lead you out out of this okay so you guys are going to be fine all right at the top of the deck time to make moves so this person they're going to be making a move toward you and i feel as though because they think that too much damage has been done the moves that they make is they're going to become a little more aggressive this person may pursue you a little more aggressively they're also pissed off because they feel as though you are making moves like their time has run out and that you have decided to move on okay wow it's like light against darkness okay because we have the white and we have the dark here so I feel like you're the light and they're the darkness. So remember, this it's all a game to this person, okay? And for some of you, they feel like, well, over time, they're going to, you know, they're going to um allow me to come back in. That's how they feel. So remember that you're... Um, you are up against someone that is, you know, that's or that their aura is dark. And so be aware of that. Don't play games with this person. Don't play their petty games um, because I feel like for one, it's not worth it. And for two, it wouldn't be of your highest good. OK, I feel like for some of you, this person may have a temper and you might see it. Hmm. Give me more Holy Spirit. How does this person truly feel? Thank you. Empty feelings. So they feel like your feelings for them, um, like the feelings that you had for them are gone. Some of you may have deleted text messages or um, like you may have done things to get rid of any trace of this person or you may do so in the future. Hmm. But they feel like you have empty feelings for them. Like your feelings are empty. And I feel like it's that way because even in this picture, this person is like hugging a robot. Okay. So it's like this person, they may... There may have been times that you wonder if they even had feelings for you. 
Like, I feel like this person, they're, um, the way that they move is very robotic. Like, they just do whatever. Like, it, they do whatever they have to do, okay, to keep you in your feelings. When they sit here, they want you to love on them, but they sit here like a, like a robot, you know. I just feel like this person, they just don't reciprocate. And that's why a lot of you have, like you're, you've gotten tired of this. Give me more Holy Spirit when it comes to this person's true feelings for my viewers currently. This is person's true feelings for my viewers. Thank you. Um, not into you. Okay. And we also have such a flirt and that came out crossing. So they do feel as though, um, because this fell out on top of empty feelings. So this person, they may feel like you no longer flirt with them or you no longer, um, have that soft spot for them with not into you being here. They may feel as though you are no longer into them. Okay. For some of you, they feel like they, when it comes to you, they think that you feel as though they are not into you. Okay. For some of you, you may have had a problem with this person flirting with others. Okay. And some of you may have felt as though this person was not into you because you didn't have their full attention. Like when you would be around this person, they may not have given you their attention. Like they may have been in their phone or focusing on other things, or they may have acted as though they were too busy for you or something of that nature. Okay. But there's something they were doing to make you feel like they weren't really into you, okay? Like you were into them. Give me more. One more card, Holy Spirit. Thank you. So we have nourishment. So this person that fell out on top of the star card. So they are still hopeful that the two of you will be able to nourish this connection. And that um, there will be growth between the two of you, okay? So some of you, for some of you, this person's going to start chasing you, Okay? They're going to try to also get rid of any evidence of um, them dealing with anyone else or anything like that. They're going to try to get rid of that. Okay. So be aware. I do feel as though this person may have been up to no good and there's some type of evidence that they've gotten rid of. So it could be text messages in their phone, getting rid of those text messages or um, something of that nature. But there's something that they've gotten rid of, something that possibly would have pissed you off at some point. Even if it didn't piss you off now, or if it wouldn't piss you off now, it's something that would have pissed you off when you were dealing with this person. Okay. But yeah, they're going to start um, chasing you. And I really feel as though whenever you act as though you're not into them, that's when they want to chase you. That makes them want you even more. All right. <laughs> not surprised. Okay. So... I'm going to pull a few more cards. I'm going to be using Mystic Beauty's Truth Oracle. You guys make sure that you check out her channel. Tell her I said, hey, I love Mystic Beauty so much. She's an amazing, um, an amazing reader and an amazing person. I love her spirit. It's beautiful. All right. Give me more messages, Holy Spirit, in regards to how this person truly feels about my viewer. Currently, for every person watching this reading, Holy Spirit, how does this person that is on their mind when it comes to love truly feel about them? Or what is that person's true feelings toward them currently? Two more shuffles. Yeah, I feel like whenever this person, whenever they do damage to you, it's like whenever they hurt you, they want you to just get over it, you know, just get over it. But God forbid you do something, you know, they would probably throw it up in your face. They wouldn't let you live it down. OK, yes, I'm in love. No rush. So this person is in love with you. OK, um, I feel as though when it comes to them, I was telling you guys before in the overall energy that this person may have been saving you for last. OK, I feel like they just like a chase. So they are in love with you. But this person may be dealing with sneaky links. OK, these guys, these gals. OK, this is who they may be dealing with. For some of you, they may have made you feel as though that's all they want. OK, so, yeah, that's why they're in no rush. 
because they're over here dealing with these. Give me more Holy Spirit in regards to this person's true feelings toward my viewers currently. Thank you. You make me feel alive. So this person, um, there's something about you that really stirs up emotion within this person. I feel like you spoke life into this person. You brought positivity into their life. Because like I said, this is someone that has a dark aura. So that's another reason why they're so attached to you. Because you are the light. Okay. I heard chosen. Give me more Holy Spirit in regards to this person's true feelings toward my viewers. Thank you. Sexual punishment. You've been acting up. So for some of you, this person, they want they want to have a sexual encounter with you, but they want to have like aggressive or, or rough sex with you because they feel like they want to punish you on a sexual level. OK, some of you have been holding back from this person sexually. You may not have been having sex with them. This could also be future energy. But I feel as though if you were to let this person um or if you were to have a sexual encounter with them, they would try to be rough with you. Or um, there's something that they may say or do during sex because they feel like you've been acting up. Okay. Hmm. For some of you, this person feels like you hold sex back from them whenever um, they've been acting up. Give me more Holy Spirit. What else? When it comes to this person's true feelings. Thank you. Falling in love again is scary. That came out crossing. So I feel like this person has been hurt before in the past. Okay. They feel like falling in love with you is scary. This is someone that doesn't, they don't like to feel vulnerable. Okay. So that's a problem here because it came out crossing. So this person, they really aren't open to love or open to, um, I feel like they're guarded. They're not completely open. And it's crazy because they want you to be open, but they don't want to be open. So they want this one-sided thing like, hey, you know, I love the way that you love me. So, you know, give me all your love, you know, be open. Let me know everything, you know, show me how you feel about me. But then they want to sit over here like a robot. Okay, baby, please. Okay. <laughs> All right, so guys, that is the reading. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time, bye.